And we are biggity, 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 biggity. Back. We're back, man. Yes, We're back. We are. I'm 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 so happy that I feel like even though we took last week off, mm-hmm. we're here. We're here. It was like it was like we we stumbled, you know. And I we've been trying to say goodbye and I choke. Trying to be active on social media <laughs> as well. So <laughs> that's where we've been at. Yeah, for real. No, I, I mean whether it's the photo stuff for Nerds Noir, whether it's uh, trying to get everything up and running and be up on par for uh, In the, the Adventures of Black Nerds. Below. Yeah, everything, everything is below. Um, and, you know, of course, we got to shout out the Family Tone Deaf Network. For sure. What's up, um, Tone? And all the new crews that are coming on and all the uh, different shows and it's just the collective of greatness. overload. It really is. It's, it's so much there. And it's for every avenue, too. Everything. Yeah, it, it's seriously all there for you. And it's all entertaining. But, um, um, what happened? Damn, what where are we supposed to start off today? Oh, we was going to talk about that trash uh, Xbox. Oh, Xbox, yeah. What's up, man? Okay, so first yeah, off, right. this is my beef. This is my beef with it. I actually take, this, take it back. I think a positive for it, if you were looking for a second system. Yeah. If for some reason you were going to put a second system in your house, picking up the discless Xbox, um, disc, disc driveless Xbox One S actually makes sense because it makes sense for somebody that got cable. Yeah. That want to truly use it for what it was made for because it uh-huh. wasn't it wasn't made for with gaming as the number one priority. It was made yeah. as Media number one priority. Hey, mama. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. For people who are using it for that reason, 100% cool. Do I think $50 yeah. was worth you might No, because, nah, because this is the thing. You need to do more than that. If councils are getting bricked with disk drives, I, this is my worry with a completely digital world and why... Until they until they get a refund policy in place that further or that backs guarantees. up the full yeah that fully backs up the digital market you I don't or add some type of resale value whether it's a full digital key that I can shuffle to somebody else exactly. or until you get to that point which it has to happen these things have to happen yeah because look I mean they create digital markets for for characters for items. For all type of games, yeah. so you need to roll it over to the physical, to the digital game itself. Mm-hmm. You have to have that in place because otherwise, you're telling me my purchase is final, oh, and hell. you have control. You have control over whether or not I can play it. Because if you all of a sudden say, "Hey, I don't like what you said to that person," ban. Or let me take it one step further. Ah, uh, we we we're gonna drop the servers for it. Yeah. That would piss me off to the ultimate. Yeah. Level. Even if I wasn't playing the game, it would piss me off. I didn't gave you, you didn't made everything you made for me. I mean, and that's why that was one of the reasons why I was mad at SOCOM because I bought the game. It's an online or SOCOM confrontation. I bought the game, PlayStation 3, bought it. I bought multiple copies of it. I bought copies for other people. I bought copies yeah. for other systems. Yeah. It was, the game was. Up to this day, one of my favorite games. So True. what I don't didn't like about it is out of nowhere the servers just get shut down. Do I get my like money back? <laughs> is my yeah, money it, coming it, back to my account? And you know what, bro? And that's something that worries me about the future of games as a whole. Cause they're starting to make even single player games games as a service. Yeah. Like um, I heard that Rage Two has microtransactions. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's a single player game. I, I told with you no this, form of online experience. I told you this last week. It's um, we gotta just we gotta call it the wave. It's the wave. If it you is. create a game and you don't take that route for other type other ways to monetize your video game, you're doing uh-huh. it wrong. You're doing it backwards. You can't compete. Because we as gamers have set that set this as we the have set the tone, and that's what we it have is. set the tone. So we can't 
We can talk about it all day, but at like, the same, but it's what we're gonna do about it because I, I can. Know. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. Keep going. You was on your soapbox. I didn't yeah. end up breaking down. It more so yeah, what yeah. angers me yeah, about yeah. it is the fact that I I buy this game with the intentions of having it uh, to be being able to play it right. And whether the game, if the game is good enough for me to put extra money into the game, I will. I don't always do it, especially for games where, because most games I play with microtransactions are cosmetic stuff. And it's stuff that if you play the game, you're going to get regardless. So, I mean, I'm only going to use a game as an example. You just pick your favorite game and literally all, just insert all main points into you know uh for your game into this conversation and it'll fit i just don't think it makes any it doesn't make any sense to, uh, this, is, this is my youngest daughter talking for i know she getting it in huh? she's talking more than me <laughs> <laughs> she has so much to say it's, it's hilarious <laughs> yeah you tell them you you let them know that my transactions them, are destroying the gaming community. <laughs> yeah, down with microtransactions. And, and no, hey, you know what's so funny? I had to talk somebody off a ledge uh, earlier today because we were talking about um, Elder Scrolls Blades, which is the mobile game, okay. which honestly I've I've been having a lot of fun with. And even though uh, Bethesda is kind of... Have into the in, into that game? As for my transaction, me have yeah. I? Yeah. No, I haven't spent the dime, okay. and I'm getting a lot done in the game, and that's that's the point I was about to make. That because my homeboy was like, "Oh, I'm about to spend so much money on this game." I was like, "No, no, 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 no! You don't have to. Mm-hmm. If you do it right, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. And don't feed into that because this game is a beta. Yeah. Now I know they haven't talked about about wipes, but they could legit do a server wipe, and now it's like, what? And I mean, and it's scary to think that I can sit here and put fifty dollars, twenty dollars, or I mean, thousands of dollars, like people have done in the past, and um, not with blades, but with games in general. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, everything can get wiped. I mean, I know. I wonder if people are worried about that with uh, um, what's that dang game? Fortnite. Fortnite is still in beta. Yeah, but for see, this is the thing though. With Fortnite, Fortnite is such on a, such of a, a global scale that True. it's not going away no time soon. It's True. not. They, and then they and then you can you can you can then turn around and say that you're getting your money's worth with Fortnite because they're touching the game. The game is being touched every two three months or so. They're putting, they're constantly updating, they're constantly listening to the community. This is why I say when video when a video game creates its own community on a it's the best thing they can do for themselves. And they and then your your super fans have no problem with putting money into the game because they're playing it. But when you create a game, when you half-ass create a game, or you create a game that you know isn't gonna stand the test of time. And then you, for example, look at Apex Legend. Apex Legend didn't know it was going to do what it, what it did. No, Apex it did. Legends they didn't at all. It was just another, another uh, battle royale game that came out with with minute changes to it, right? Yeah. Put this game out, and if the game didn't sell, they would have been good because they did it the exact same way Fortnite did it. They only they came out, dropped a free game. And was like, hey, free game, you know? Yeah, and people they, flock to it hard. And, and Do pe- I, aren't they running into certain problems right now, though? They're running into problems with like with people, not the game itself. People okay. doing certain stuff, so they're banning people. I, I think I watched, I was listening, I was reading an article talking about how like over four hundred thousand, a little over four hundred thousand people have been banned in that game, and it's Ooh. because of people doing certain things that they shouldn't be doing. Now, I don't agree with. Me perma banning me for something in your game or a, a thing that yeah, I if can I'm do in your game. Exploiting something that's it. in game, you fix it. Don't so, ban me. Fix it. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I, especially if especially if I put money in, in this, either you gonna give me my money back or I'm gonna bash this game to the end of time. I swear I would. I, and you and and we already know we've seen it with Battlefield. You mm-hmm. don't challenge the consumer. It's yeah. the worst thing you could possibly do is challenge the consumer. Yeah. You're 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 begging for trouble. Battlefield or Battlefront? Battlefield. Really? 
Could, okay. Oh, so. well, you don't remember what happened. No. Battlefield, for those who don't know, Battlefield 5 had a launch issue, not because of anything technical, but because of design issues. And the fan base called them out about it. And it had something to do with uh, people with uh, like steampunk type arms and stuff like that. Like, and then uh, I guess it has some, it wasn't mainly about the woman soldier, but it had something to do with a woman soldier as well. It, okay. it was it was all cosmetic issues. It wasn't gameplay issues. Okay, and um, I guess like discrepancies um, with the rea- with reality. And they, I want to say the creator said, "Well, if you don't like it, then don't buy it." Shit. He challenged the community. Shit. You listen, man. I'm t- I got this mind state. This especially as a uh, as a business owner, I work yes. for you. You yeah, don't I work, work for the people. But me, I work yeah. for you because if you're not doing what I need you to do for me to succeed, I fail until you don't get your product or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So when people, when you do stuff like that, that's why that's why Anthem is where it's at. That's why Battlefield, yeah. you're telling me what Battle uh, Battlefield oh. 5 went through. That's why they were at in the beginning and- of their process because I know people play it now. But... Once you start doing stuff like that, you 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 throw a monkey wrench into your community that they don't want because all you need is for the biggest person in on in the scene in that community to go around and make a video about it, which they will. That's it. Because and mm-hmm. then that'd be the end of it because yep. now their followers is going to follow this person and they're not going to play the game until you do until you come out and do damage control anthem. Perfect example. That's why they're where they're at. All of the changes and 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 those these these things that they're doing in the game to make these problems stay consistent is the reason why it's a one and done type of game. It's literally you and- out for months. I'm 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 so mind blown that free games, free games, even League of Legends, free games yeah. are at the top. At the top yeah. of the Twitch, at the top of the Twitch directory, why? Because Every day, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And some of well, the- I do, I do, and it's it's truly simple because we're in a day and age. Okay, prime example, and you'll completely understand this. Hundred percent. Look what happened to music. I won't. I, you ain't got to say nothing no. else. Look what happened to music. Yeah, music. Music went from you had to be elite. Or well known, or know somebody in order to grow and go. Yeah, but well, now, no. But check I'm a, this. It, it's it really is that simple. I'm gonna tell you the because difference, we though. we live the gaming community is now a place where a soldier boy can make a game. Now I'm not saying soldier boy making a game. I'm saying a soldier boy esque person can come out make a yeah, game. Cuphead. Of Cuphead. Course. Cuphead yeah. won all type of awards. That was an indie game. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. When you when you're a huge developer, we talk about EA every damn day on this True. platform. We really on do this beautiful platform, the Adventures of the Black Nerds. We talk about EA, and we started off talking two- about digital Xbox, but bruh, keep going, bro. We on a whole different topic now. Yeah, we're we're to- we're somewhere else. Listen, we talk about EA all day. This is a huge studio, a huge brand. This is the 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 elite of the elite. How could you be this disconnected? That's where I, that's where my mindset is at. Because and if, that, once again, when, music. Look at music. Yeah, and but this is that's my. I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying that's the problem. Yeah, you're that you're that elite of the elite, and you're that disconnected. That tells me you just don't care. You're just hey, y'all buying it. You you know what you're else, bro? It. You you know what else is a big thing, a big part of it that we can't ignore. And why these free to play games and um, a lot of these smaller company games are doing better than the big ones nowadays? What? It's because they don't have uh, they don't have shareholders to uh, to please. Yeah, and that and even that, but see, th- I still got to question it. How? How can you see Fortnite doing what it's doing, Apex Legend doing what it's doing, and you not try to? Mimic something, mimic take it something in the from same. It. Hey, listen, we gonna get our money back. We can guarantee. Look at what and this, peep this. This the plat. The literally the playbook has been written, 
and it's been yeah, given no, and to that's it. what I'm saying. They you haven't take, evolved yet. You take it. And, and let me tell you why I was so hurt with Battlefield Five. This game was that bridge. In my mm. opinion, everything you're talking about, I believe Battlefield Five was EA's bridge to this new world, this new climate of gaming. Yeah. It has no no DLC, no paid DLC. All the DLCs are free. Okay. It has free updates. There's new guns coming out every week. Like, these last three weeks, I've picked up three guns. Are there microtransactions in the game? Yes, which okay. is fine. I'm all okay right. with... I'm My issue with microtransactions, and I want to say all the microtransactions are cosmetic. That's I haven't seen any... Um, I didn't see any, like, oh, buy this gun. Yeah. Um, always seen skins, and I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments or messages. Let us know. I have no problem being corrected. But mm -hmm. from what I've played and what I've seen, everything gun wise has to be unlocked. Okay, and you can unlock. You can pay for cosmetics, and which I don't care if you want to spend a thousand dollars on cosmetics. So be it. That's your business. Battlefield. What what uh publishers behind Battlefield? EA. Okay, so EA and this dice. Could, EA dice. But yeah. yeah. What dice is the developers and EA is the and then EA is the publisher. Okay, so now that is the the okay. So this is what I this is what I was saying. That old style works for these super big developers or uh, publishers, Activision, mm -hmm. EA, Two mm -hmm. K. Think about it. I'm going to just announce the game. You're yeah. gonna buy it. <laughs> I hey, but can you know what else is really dumb? You, you're going to buy the game. So Facts. that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, you're gonna buy the game. So let me just I could just tell you all oh, brand new game. I don't even gotta take the price. There's gonna be a price for it. You're gonna buy the game. All of you watching this right now, you two you you two K fans, you Madden fans, <laughs> you Call of Duty fans, you're gonna buy the game. That's all. All I got to know is that all I got to say is you're going to buy the game. So since you're going to buy the game, I'm going to just put the game out. I'm going to half-ass the game. You're going to have you're going to complain about the game for a whole year while playing. But it. you bought the game. You bought the game and you put more money into the game. This is where we're at. This is what I said. We just have to accept it. There is no hey, fight in that no more. But let me tell you another thing that really bothers me about it all is the fact that not only do we have that, we also have the issue that they know we're going to buy it, but they'll still dump more money into marketing than they will into advancing the game and doing new mechanics. And, and Because like you said, I know you're going to buy it. I know plenty of people, they'll tell you, all right, oh, I'm about to get the new 2K. Mm -hmm. I know people who are yearly 2K like Hell I know more yeah. people who pick up 2K every I used to be one of them. Yeah. So, I used to pick up 2K every year, no questions asked. Bruh, listen to me, man. Um I don't I don't think I think if you're a huge fan, if you're a fan of a game, by all means, support your game. Support Very it. true. You're 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 gonna play the game. I understand that. But have some some dignity. I, yeah. See, I, I I'm not trying to. No, I don't. That's I don't the wrong be word. That guy. You know. What I mean? don't want to bash. Yeah. yeah I'm with I just you. want you to know that at some point you're gonna have to accept the fact that you are buying the same thing every year, back to back to back. You're putting all your money and in, in and probably even all your time. If there was a scale to weigh, if you got your money's worth out of a video game per time, most of you Madden 2K players, et cetera, et cetera, are probably would make your money. Your You're worth. probably making your money's or getting your yeah, money's easy. worth. And easy. I'm not knocking that. I just think that when we sit up here and consistently, consistently do the same thing and we're consistently getting the crappy end of the stick from these huge developers that, and by all means, I, I wish I had the answer. Oh, my dog going crazy. I wish I had the answer for you guys on what you guys could do. I mean, I matter of fact, I do got the answer. Fortnite, Apex Legends. That's the answer for you. And, and, let me, and look how epic it would be, bro. Look at look at how simple the model would be. Even if you had the upfront fee, mm -hmm. let's just say you charged me the 60. Okay, yeah. cool. You got me for 59.99. 
But next year, you don't have to pay for the roster update. But we we made special characters that you cannot get unless you buy into the pack. Yeah, or uh, okay, the, so, the season. So that's, you, you can't get the playoff gear. Yeah, you can't get the the winter the the Christmas Day game. Or you got to do like challenges. Yeah, to you can. Oh, them. bro. But you also have the chat the the opportunity to put the money into the game and all, I mean Fortnite does that that's Fortnite what Fortnite does, does. and Fortnite does. Fortnite's succeeding because you have that option you can go in there and if you know you can average at least eighty hours a week playing Fortnite you can unlock all Everything. of these challenges way before the next season is up you know what I'm saying rather than putting. 20 30 however much money it may cost to unlock a whole season into a game to just unlock it all forget it i'm just going to unlock it all because you know what i'm saying i got the i got the money to do it i enjoy the game so much i'm playing the game i love the game the game is a good game but when i look at a game and you are doing the same thing over and over again you're not innovating your game. You're not making changes that the community wants in yep. your game. It tells me you don't care. You're not looking at your community. That's why as much as we bash Destiny, as much as we bash that game, as much as we complain, and I'm talking about we as a community as a whole, yeah. complain yeah. about this game, they are there. They are there in their community. Sure. They won. They will always have a Twitter that they people respond to. They have a, a a Reddit thread that you can go to and write into. And if you as as long as it's there, I mean, Apex Legend has the same thing. Fortnite has the same thing. They're consistently yep. making changes, League making Legends, the appropriate that, yeah. changes too. All the top games have what you're talking about. They have a solid community. Exactly. So now, if 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 these super duper uber you know, publishers and developers would adopt that same style, listening to the community, making the appropriate changes, at least talking. I mean, some of these places have millions of dollars of tournaments with these games. And like, okay, okay for example, Call of Duty. Controversy last week. Last week was CWL London. Now, this is a Activision event. This is okay. stuff. Your game. These players is playing for money. This is how they support themselves. By playing in these tournaments, winning these money, this money, developing, getting bigger uh, fan bases so they can provide for themselves, right? Activision Call of, or Call of Duty has a bug in the game where, long story short, if you if you complete the objective, there is a there is a window. There is still like a couple second window that if you win, you completely have won. The objective is completed. If this person kills you, say it's a 1v1 and you get killed within that window, the round goes to the team that 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 was supposed to lose. Now, this happened. It only takes one time for something like that to happen. That happened last week. And it costs that team... Literally, that one moment cost them the match because they would have then went on. If they would have won that match, that round, they would have then went on to won the next round and they would have uh, knocked the other team out. But that's not the case. The team, they won the last, the next one, and then they lost the last one and they got eliminated from the tournament. And they won. Now, I grant it. I, I'm assuming it because they are probably employees of Activision, they can't say anything, but I for sure can say that that is messed up. And that right there should be handled immediately because that is money and lives on the line when you're Whoa. talking about me competing at your event. That is the type of shit that, that I'm talking about. That needs to eat. I'm talking about, oh, we just found this. Oh, everybody, hands on all hands on deck to the studio Whoa. now. Update now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But did it happen? No. For all I know, it's still in the game. And that was crazy to see. So this wow. is what I'm saying, man. It, it has to be instant. My money goes instantly to you. Instantly. Yeah. Your response to certain things in your game should be instant. Whether you have like a, a daily update or something like that that fix network issues or whatever throughout the, the week or stuff. I'm I've been on my soapbox way too long. But 
That's what I'm talking no. about, man. I just it's it's all of that stuff plays create have a community manager. Have this have these summits. These summits where you invite some of these players out who are going to give you genuine feedback because these are the people that are playing your game. If they're going to play your game for a whole year or however the life however long the lifespan is it, it would cuz I truly believe that some of these games not other than like our yearly releases I truly mm-hmm. believe that some of these games or these developers, excuse me, and uh, and these developers and publishers have like a lifespan for the game. Hey, the game's going, we need to make this amount of money because the game going to last this amount of time. I and believe that is how, that is a part of it because there would, if you didn't have that, you would do whatever it took to keep that game going. I mean, i.e. Grant their photo. Yeah. And and let me and let me tell you this. You what one thing to add to what you're saying, a solid way to not only have the community manager, but actually implement the changes that the community is asking for. Exactly. On cert on a scale. You know, I'm not saying every time you get a hundred thousand people to agree to something, you should change it. Yeah. But why not? I'm not saying you should, but I'm asking why not? If you got a majority of the people who are actively playing your game telling you, "Hey, this is kind of broken." I'm a Okay, so I agree with that to an extent. Of course, I still believe that the developer has to say, like they are the king in that regard. As it should be. But yeah. I think a lot of of obviously you're supposed to listen to the community, but if the community is asking for something that is just outrageous, then it shouldn't be like, okay, let's give it to them because they want it. But if we look at our, if we look at the numbers or whatever, Fortnite, yeah, but even those were problems because then the community turned around and said, oh yeah, we don't want this. Well, yeah, of course. No. And see, people could, look, you brought up, you brought up Fortnite. They talked about the shotgun. Oh, shotguns running rampant. They took the shotguns away. Now people now are everybody complaining. Mad. Yeah, you talked about but, Destiny. But see, oh yeah. Guess what? Oh, go ahead. That's a that's a that's a good thing in my opinion. I'd rather have the complaint that hey, y'all listen to us. We made a mistake. We don't want it no more. Yeah. But then then I'm now you find now you find, but now you find yourself making these immediately these immediate changes throughout a video, especially a competitive game like Fortnite. Destiny is a different brand. But Fortnite, these when when there's money and jobs on the line for that, like you're talking about a whole different thing. So like your Call of Duty, even 2K, 2K got the the 2K League now. Uh, yeah, that's real. You see what I'm saying? And oh, shout out! I forget her last name, but uh, her first name I want to say is Chiquita. Uh, hold on, let me look it up because I I I gotta shout that out. How much she get signed for? Uh, well, she got she got her name is Chiquita Evans. She is from Chicago. She got drafted to the Warriors 2K League. First female, the uh the first woman ever drafted into the NBA 2K League. She got drafted there. Shout out to her. Chiquita shout Evans out. got drafted to the uh to the Warriors. Uh I had to shout that out. I had No. To. Cause it's epic, bro. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that I what I absolutely love is seeing where games has become. Now, now watching a kid play a video game, it's not the automatic, oh, why are you wasting your time? Yeah. That you can't say that anymore. Like that's that's not a statement you can throw out there leisurely. Like you can't you can't just tell somebody that. Like, yeah. oh, you're wasting your time playing games. Mm-hmm. Uh, not necessarily. Not when not when I'm making more than you. Dang. <laughs> not, not, and I'm not when I make more money than you. And I, I, if anything that I can, any job where I can just roll out of bed and start doing my job and be excited to do it, I ain't got to leave my crib. And then, and then the beauty of the the world that's gro- blossoming out of gaming in the competitive scene is it's not only the gamers. That are coming out of this now. You have networks. Mm-hmm. Now you have. Um, now you have uh, commentary. Yeah. Now you have coaches. Now you have. You know, 
all of these things, it, it, of course, it all started out with the one core nucleus, which is gaming. Mm -hmm. And they had broadcasters for it on yeah. ESPN for video games. Yeah. Bruh. Shout the Ultra out. is going to be real pretty soon. Man, I can't yeah. wait. Remember, but, I forget the, remember, what was the name of the, the gaming channel? Where they had like video, oh, oh man. Tech what, TV. Yeah. Was it, it was, but it was some. I Tech TV it, and, um, yeah. And uh, that remember how even that wasn't like remember, remember that was the only place to get the news, bro. Yeah, and now the tech TV is pretty much everywhere. Exactly. So I mean, and shout out to our sources. I, we go to Kotaku for info, Polygon for info, IGN, right? all these places that report this stuff. Because without it, I mean, and then even Forbes, even Forbes reports Forbes gaming do, does stuff. a lot of gaming news. Heck yeah. So, yeah, they do. bruh, I mean, it, it's the wave. You, If you're not on the wave, Every, bruh. But yeah. And, and I'm going to tell you, and I've had this talk before, I feel it's further, it's further pushing into the integration of digital work. We already have remoting in. We already have augmented reality. We already have VR. We already have this heavy, heavy level of uh, participation in doing things from our workstation on the go, whether it's your laptop, whether you're at home, office. A lot of these things are in place, and all it is is leading to Ready Player One. All it is is to that's, – that's what all this is leading towards. Yeah. Pretty soon, you're going to have athletes hooked up completely digital, and it's going to be a safer way to play these extreme sports. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with I, it. I just I, – it just – it makes sense. It's a natural progression. Like, I think football, if football doesn't adjust, it's going to go extinct. Yeah. Only because I know I don't want my kids to play. Max, my son is not playing football. And here it is. I grew up playing since six years old. I had to, to finally, I mean, and I, I, I even get like, I get, like, I really miss football. I miss everything. Yeah. I miss Madden. I miss paying attention to football as much as I can, uh, playing football. I miss all of that. and But it's just the sport is not a – you got to be one dedicated player yeah. or person yeah. to to follow that, to want to consume you that. You got to be a gladiator. That, that be life. Exactly. And I – You got to be a gladiator. 100%. And I respect, hope my kids are not. <laughs> I 100% respect everybody – yeah, that plays football because I I still love the game. I truly yeah. love the game, but as a person that's gone through an injury through football over nothing, I didn't even get touched. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> I don't want you know my that. son to go through that. You know, and I'm a sports guy. I love sports, but nah, I'm I'm cool, man. I like I said, but I'm happy. I'm happy that people are starting to create these alternative. Yeah, that's what I'm no saying. Places. And that was the point I'm making. Like, okay, if you guys make sure to check it out. I don't have a link up, but go check out Virtuix Omni. It's the company that made the rigs that you saw in the movie Ready Player One. These people, um, uh, and I feel like legally I have to say that I have some investments with them for me shouting it out that way. Oh, um, shoot. You yeah, get, I'm going to just get money back, though. You over here. Getting... No, I, I haven't gotten dividends, <laughs> but I feel like I legally have to say something about that. Like, I can't just tell you. Guys. I'm not telling you all to go invest. I'm telling you all to go look at it. Mm -hmm. Go check out Virtuix Omni and go check out rigs in general. VR rigs. OK, it is crazy. That's going to be the new wave. You're going to have instead of having a treadmill in your house, you're going to have a rig that's going to be the same size as your treadmill. Aren't they playing you're battlefield with it? Yes, yeah, bro. They were playing Battlefield and it looked epic leaning around corners, crawling, go like it's ridiculous. And then you got to wear like special slips on your shoes or special shoes so you can slide around. And you're just you're like, it, I know that time is coming, it, it's it really is. And it's funny wrapping it back up to the um to the discless Xbox where we started. Boo. My right, my point with that and why I'm against it right now is because there's other things in place that need to happen first. Yeah. One, we need to establish a solid return policy and exchange system for these digital content. Mm -hmm. Because you can't take me from I'm able to sell my games and trade my games and share my games and loan my games 
to nope, sorry, you enacted this code. You're the only one that can use it, and you it's can't do final. it. Again. It's final. <laughs> it's final. You can't. You're that's a that's a hard that's a hard sell. But then not only return policy, but you also need to put in place. Um, you got to have something set along the lines of if I get banned. Can I take my purchases? Do my purchases follow my credit card? Yeah. Do my purchases are are they locked to that account? Because now that my account's banned, which we talked about before, um, these games I no longer have access to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I signed an we agreement. Talked about that. Agreement. We talked about that. You know, podcast but, ago we did talk about yeah, that. We did talk that about PlayStation that. guy. Yeah, and not saying he didn't deserve that to happen. <laughs> But it's just a matter of you're or stealing. He didn't deserve. He deserved something to happen. But not losing access to all of his digital games. Yeah, like I, it, they have to. There has to be some things put in place to protect us as consumers, and to create the sense of a free market. Yeah, at least give us the sense of it. Like, oh, hey, you can only trade this game two times. Give us something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, give, like I'm not at. Yes, I'm asking for the open realm that we got now with digital games. I'm asking for that. But if you can't give me that, give me some resemblance of it. Mm-hmm. Hey, digital only. Um, or, you can, or like have a way to where you can resell it through your market. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, Give me a buyback. Give me a, you, you, like, give me a buyback. Oh, that's a good thing. Like, um, I forgot who does this. And I forgot what company does it and or what product does it, but you can have set up a buyback program like in tears. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, um, the game's only been out for three months. So after you purchase it, if you want to sell it back to us for store credit, it'll be this much. It'll be worth this much. Mm-hmm. And then after so much time after that, it'll be worth this much. Then you can pull a GameStop and hey, we'll have trade-in bonus if you give us these codes, but but that all and but you know what the next issue is? You're gonna have to come up with finite codes. You're not you yeah. can't you can't have unlimited codes because with the unlimited codes, how can I create a value? It it it's a murky thing, and because it's so murky, I don't think full digital is the way to go right now. Yeah. And then and then another thing, the the US, we'll just stick with the US. I'm not even gonna talk about the world. The US overall as an average still has crappy internet. Mm-hmm. Most people don't have access to good internet. That's why when you stream on Twitch and Facebook, the streaming quality up front is low yeah. because most people do not have access. It'd be pointless. Okay, good. You got this rig that can run 10,000 frames per second, but 90% of the people watching your videos are only going to be able to watch at, what, 720? Yeah, and that's why... Oh, and that's, that's connected why to Wi-Fi. Re- that's why it's recommended that whenever you're streaming, you stream at yep. 720. They yeah, recommend because- that because of that said reason. Most people yep. aren't watching it at 1080, 4K, Ultra, 8, 5K, yeah. D, HD. Yeah. They're not watching that. So when, that's not normal. Yeah, it, it isn't because... Listen, when, there's more people out here with basic internet than there is with yep. people with a, a dedicated well, we business yeah. line. Yeah, you see, that's like your half percent. <laughs> and believe me, I'm I'm thinking about going that route. <laughs> me too. I'm I am not friends. Open whole internet just for my games. I, and like I, and y'all I'm, get and off. I'm, and I'm talking about a three four hundred dollar line, like a yeah. business line, like something yeah. that you see in corporate businesses. I, whole server in the back. I got that in my crib. Like I got yep. <laughs> that's sitting in the yeah. back. I got a whole big ass super box <laughs> in the backyard. Hey, no, and, and this is the thing. If this is if this is if that's what you do as a business, is I recommend it if you yeah. got it. You know, and my point back to this digital console, which I didn't think we would talk this long on, is we're just not ready yet. Yeah. And and I hope what I really hope is that they don't force it down our throats. Like let's say the next generation, which we already know there's gonna be disc. We already know like the PlayStation 5 announced is gonna be a disc drive. Yes. We, Sony already announced it. We yes. we know this. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried about it, but I, I I wanna speak hypothetically. If they if they force that upon us, you're really gonna divvy up the market. And then it'll probably cause another thing that happened with uh PlayStation 2. Remember, PlayStation 2 barely died. Like, didn't they barely kill the servers? I don't even know. 
I want to say they barely, like, within the last year and a half, two years, killed the servers from PlayStation 2. Yeah, I'm not and, sure. I'm not and sure. it's not, and I'm not saying it as a bad thing, but when you when you separate the market so much, that's why they still sell older games at stores. That's why you still see PlayStation 3. That's mm-hmm. why, not as much as it used to be, but that's why you would see it, because people don't, people don't keep up. Yeah. Not like not like they make it seem. Hell, my phone is an S six. They're yeah. coming out with the eleven. Like, like yeah. it, you, you know what I mean? I like, I'm, I'm six phones behind. I, I just got the ten plus. You see, you see what I'm saying? I'm it's six good phone. phone. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I like it. Um, couldn't find a case with the with the screen protector attached to it, so I had to get gotcha. like. My own screen protector, but the case is cool and the phone's cool. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I don't like buying new phones like that, but yeah, it was time when my phone fact, my phone factory reset itself on its own, and I lost all my shit. I said, bro, I, nah, this shit can happen oh, again. You don't I, I realize, bro, you don't realize how lost I was. I didn't have passwords to my email. I couldn't do Ooh. nothing. I couldn't call my wife. I was Ooh. lost. It's like, what is her number, bro? I was in, I was in Walmart. Like, bro, can I? I'm sorry, this actually, this. Can I use your phone, <laughs> please? Bruh. It was bad, man. Bruh. All right, so we need to move on because that oh, was yeah, we uh, have to, 41 that was minutes episode. and 25 seconds. Of, that was the whole episode. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Three episode three. Well, we're on four and five or three and four. I think we're on four and five. Yeah, four and five. We got to talk about four and five. So I just want to say I was right. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I'm gonna tell you this. You know what? My one complaint. My my one complaint about all of this is, Uh and it is just it's an honest one. I feel the rush, but. Last season was a rush too. I, I just so I, I feel like they're feel. saying, listen, let's just get this shit over with. We yeah, just, fifteen like million dollars an episode. Of oh, y'all gonna get y'all fifteen million dollars? Yeah, y'all. Hey, you're <laughs> we paid, gonna give sir. it to you. y'all. Y'all want it? We gonna give it to you. He said, "Good day, sir." Shoot, oh, I went but, out and bought Oreo cookies that I ain't gonna eat. The game edition of bro, the Game of Thrones. They, I legit want them, bro. I, I, I think. Oh, them. I think they 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 got it. I only seen like four left at Walmart, but I bought a pack. Bro, I want them, <laughs> and I I legit will like vacuum seal them on top of the seal that they already are. I should like because I, I seen the container. I was at uh I was at Winko. Yeah, and, and it just looks so it's dope. dope. It's like matte black, and it got the the word the names of the houses on it, and then yeah. on the bottom you see the emblems in cookie form. Oh. Oh, but see, just my luck. My kids would get a hold of it, not uh-huh. even open it and eat it. It would just crush it. Just like, like they would step on it. Ah. Yeah, and I'm like, well, well might as well open couch. it now. <laughs> Look, might as well open it now. <laughs> like the magic is gone. I just made cereal. Just pour it in the bowl, man. <laughs> man, hey, but no, but with Game of Thrones, bro, you're feeling the rush. Am, I feel the rush. It's not bad. It's just I can feel it. I yeah. can, I can tell they're trying to. They're trying to get to the point. We're halfway now, done. We're over halfway done. Yeah, we got one more episode left. That's oh, it. yeah, that is. We're done. Yeah, it's we're done. Over. Next weekend, that's it. $15 like, million dollars an episode. Y'all going like, to get this work. <laughs> y'all going to get this work. Hey, and, and the trippy thing is, like, getting into specifics, I, um, I feel, I still think either Tyrion, if he can get close enough, or John is going to kill Daenerys. She has to die. She's going to die, bro. She went full Hitler. She has to die, bro. She went full she went full Targaryen. Uh, she she's mad she's mad that she was mad that she was wrong. Yes. She was mad. She was ultimately mad that she was wrong, but cuz she was hoping she they did. would ring the bells. Yeah. Exactly. And but you got to think about it. She lost so much with not she lost two dragons. That's a lot. And a lot. I'm talking about she's the mother of dragons. That yep. when you got the self-proclaimed name as mother of dragons and, and you, you lost two of them. you lost two of them, that is it. You know, so I I understand where her pain comes from. 
but she has to die for that. She gotta, she, die, gonna do it, she gotta die. She has she, to die. And I, I'm gonna tell you, I was not expecting it to go this route. I wasn't expecting her to die either. But she gonna have to die for that because she she did something that that compromised John. Obviously, it compromised everybody. It compromised John. It it knocked uh a lot of people off their trajectory. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they it it literally made a shift in the the storyline. And like, the, who's the good guys now? Yeah, it's like, like I almost it's felt bad for Cersei. Yeah, it's like that. You know what? I didn't. I didn't. I was like, yeah, she gonna die, dog. You I, stupid. I was, she gonna die. Hey. You you gonna die. You you boy. You gonna die. I can't wait. And then when she, I knew, I knew it was genuine. I thought she had a plan. Like I, like an ultimate. Like okay, cool. I was waiting you know, for the trunk car too. Yeah, I was waiting for the other foot to drop. When she started crying, I was like, "Oh, I was like, oh, she did, she did, she know it, man. It was good. She, she, she was, going home. you was crying to a man with one hand. Which, hey, I'm gonna tell you, I much more enjoyed the fight with him and uh, what's the 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 you, dude? Uh, and, uh, your uh, what is it? Your uh, yeah. The great joy, dude. I enjoyed that fight over the mountain, and uh, me too. I did. I was. I. I think the fight between the mountain and that the shit hell, was funny. He was like, Just "It was die. funny. <laughs> it was funny. It was more of an emotional fight. Yeah. It, it felt more like the end of uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, oh yeah. Four. It felt more like the history behind it mm-hmm. than the actual combat, bro. Um, die. Hey, when he ran, <laughs> hey. You know what was cold though? If if the mountain was alive, because you got to remember he's technically been dead for like five years at this point. Yeah. Uh, if he was alive, uh, the hound would have won. He was beating him up. I just was. Yeah. Mad. He, I was and then mad he grabbed the his fact. sword all the way through. Him, yeah. And I then was, old dude gonna just take his sword oh, out like a potato. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, just just run, man. He Get out of here. He started pulling out his eye. He started screaming. That's how you knew it was. That was one of the moments where it was like, bro, oh, I don't know what to do. You got like, stand in your head. What do I do? You start throwing. Your... <laughs> he was like, man, like we both gonna die. He's like, man, ah, man. I tackled him. That um, I was hoping that um. Damn, what's the little girl name, man? I be forgetting. It's too many names. I was hoping she would have got to Cersei. I was hoping it would have been her. I'm actually, I'm happy she didn't. Because I would have been overkill. And let me tell you why. You literally went from killing the Night King. Yeah, but that's what, Now you're killing the queen. But then you could turn around and say, yo, you just killed the This ain't the Assassin's queen. Creed, bro. Bro, you <laughs> could turn around and say that. Like, like, you just killed the ultimate of the ultimate. You should have all of the powers unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> right, like your whole skill tree. <laughs> you 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 are, you are completely maxed. Like God that, mode, like, she's just running oh, through. That's just a Thursday. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's she, just a Thursday. she throws fear from the front gate, hit her in the red keep. <laughs> it's, it's just a Thursday, you know. What I'm saying? It's just a Thursday. Oh, but a. I I'm, I do like the the route that they took with her, with her uh, uh, barely making it out the city. That was, bro, that I'm was so epic. happy they did that. Yeah. That was the most beautiful. It, it brought uh, her back imagery. to her. Because it made her human. She's walking into the, yeah, I got things yeah. to do. <laughs> and then seeing her afraid, like yeah. seeing her bloody, seeing that, her afraid. Because I think did, she got more damage in that than when she that fought the Night of, King. Okay, so you're right. But that reminded me of the point where she was whipping ass on the, on the, on the little uh and she started freaking out when started, they really started oh, swarming. She was like, oh and she started running, hiding yep. under heads and tables and shit. Nah, she was that that it brought her back down to earth. So since they did that to her, it it humanized her. Cause she was the look, she was she, slayed she the night was game. the level one hundred she's gonna fight the boss. Like she could kill a dragon. Like yeah, that, yeah, that's how that's how they built her up. Exactly. Yeah. So since they, they had to bring her back down. And they did it in the in the best way, and realistic. Her fighting something that she couldn't control. It's yep. literally I trying to get save people and losing them. Exactly. Like it. It was intense, bro. Yeah. She went through everything in those small moments. That and then how, how symbolic was the horse though? The horse. Yeah. Damn. A all white horse she walked up, grabbed it. It was all super slow mo. And you know what white horses stand for? Death. Mm-hmm. Like. 
So, but the irony. Yeah. So she made no, it. not not her dying, but her being death. Yeah, that's why. That's I, what. Yeah. Exactly. Nah, but, I, now I'm gonna tell you. So her, it just I, tells me her job isn't done. Thank you. She gonna she probably be the one to kill. I I still got that thought. But she be. I'm gonna tell you, it was a it was a scene that I wish somebody creates as like a backdrop. Where like they got the low angle of her and she's standing in like the front of an alley and it's like a fire off to her left and she's looking to like her right. I think it's like the scene right when she sees the horse. That kind of brought her back up. Like, yeah, I'm the shit. You know? I and it, was, it was like a super dark, but it was like light off to the left. And it was real real cool little uh little post that I wish somebody would screenshot. If I could do it, I would do it. But it was dope. And that's what brought her back to me, like, like she the shit, man. She is the fucking. What, 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 she gonna kill somebody? <laughs> hey, the funniest meme I've seen so far for that episode, they was like, uh, I think Daenerys heard the wrong bells, and they replayed the whole scene, right? Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, when the bell went to ring, it started playing "Knuck if you buck." <laughs> it, the timing fit perfect. She was sitting there. Knock if you fuck, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, as soon as the verse dropped, she's burning and killing everybody. I was like, oh I, my I God. didn't, I man. I'm, I'm mad that, uh, to be honest, the, the fight was just too easy. It was way too easy. And this goes back to you saying that it was rushed. Um, I didn't get to see. But, but it was, let me tell you, I noticed it was rushed. I'm not saying it was bad. Let me, let me clarify. Of course. No, I get I you. Can, I can feel the rush in comparison to other things that they've done. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that the Battle of the Bastards, in my opinion, is still the best war scene in the in this show. Well, it has uh, to everything be. that's happened. Battle of the Bastards was the hands down, in my opinion, the best. It had to be. Uh, that it, was. It, it still has to be because epic sh like things happened. That was epic. There was no dragons. Yeah, it there was, was it was just men. It was yeah. just straight up mid and a giant. And a, yeah. and a giant, yeah. The giant was there. I'm not gonna forget yeah. he was there. But no, but okay, so there was strategy involved. Yes, it was rushed. Yes, they made it look easy, but they made it look easy because of the way it went down. Like the like, whole coming from the sun. Bro, think that about was it. Perfect. The dragon didn't get hit once. And the dragon didn't, the didn't did. lose a wing, a fingertip. Because it, of how it they had did infinite it. fire. Well, let me tell you, bro. You gotta remember every time a dragon died, it was because they were being cocky. Of course. I'm and yeah, who wouldn't and, be cocky? I got three dragons. And I'm not I'm not knocking that. What I'm saying yeah. is that and no, no, no. Look, okay, so I, I get what you're saying. What I'm saying with this being the ultimate, the la everything after this is internal. Right? True. This is this is a battle. It's supposed to be the culmination right? of everything. Yeah. They gave up. Like there was no fight. It there, was I was like, oh, okay. No fight. It was over. The, the 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 scene where she comes through the backside of the gates, blows the gates up, and then wraps around, and she it literally looked like me spaying raid on ants. It yeah. looked like that. Yeah. I was like, bruh. It's over. What can they do? And then when she sat there, and then like you talk about the bell scene and all that, that it was over. It was over. She it won. It was done. She had to. She the whole place could have been intact. When, hey, but you, you know what's real creepy though? If you if you think about it, from what I seen in the show, and I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. You didn't see her face. Any you didn't see her. Anymore yeah. after she took off flying. Okay, no, you no, you didn't. It you don't just, see her anymore. It was pure you destruction. The dragon. It was pure yeah. destruction after she took off because she was hot. That's it. Yeah, it you was, didn't see her. It no was more. a wrap. The every and then what? Then if you pay attention to like the map, like when they every time they zoomed out to the to the red keep, it was literally like I'm typewriting this shit. I'm yeah, going. she was going. She burned everything. Everything going to die. Everything, everybody. Hey, hey, but you know what's creepy? I don't care about how, crossfire. Yeah, oh, she was, oh, man, I wonder how many of our own people she killed. Mm -hmm. Um, Because remember those Dothraki that were chasing those ladies, that was chasing Arya? They had to die. Yeah. There's no way they didn't get burned up. Everybody that she ran past died. 
died. Um, hey, no, but you remember in a couple like third or fourth season with Brand's vision, mm -hmm. he saw the throne room full of which at the time, because you thought the winter was coming, everybody thought it was snow. Yeah, it's ash. Yeah, that's what it every everything's ashed I out. Now. Think of that. Yeah, man. This stuff is so wild. And then I like how the tone of the show changed. Mm -hmm. It inst In that single moment of her snapping, the whole tone of the show took a big shift. It went from where the good guys, they're the bad guys, to well, I don't know, I don't know I anymore. I just know John is still John. That's it. John is still John. John is still but John. But I feel bad for him. Okay, so what do you think? How do you think it's going to end? I do not feel bad for him because... We know John is he's that he's the character he's in the show idiot. that's pure. And he's a dummy. Yeah, but they're they're super pure. Every yeah. and think about it, all the dumb people in shows who survive are super pure. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That, that's why he couldn't that's why he couldn't die. That's why they brought him back to life. He's too pure. He always does the right thing. This forces him to do something that he swore he wouldn't do. This takes that away from him. Yo, that's my queen. But your queen just slaughtered thousands. Million, even some of your made some of your people do things that they didn't want to do. You see what I'm saying? He's telling them to no back, <laughs> getting punched. All right, cool. I gotta pull my sword out now. It's it it takes that away from him now. Just like just like bringing Arya back down from her high horse, they did the same thing with John. So now we're left in limbo. Like, damn, what is he gonna do? This would be the first time he's done something he he said he wouldn't do. That's my queen. She will be the queen. Blah blah. But do you agree with your queen? That's a that's a dope way to make him question everything because mm -hmm. he has to this point done everything he said he would. Exactly. Now now my next this is okay. This is what I think is gonna happen. I think a few things. I've been pretty correct. Like you guys can go back and listen. I've been calling it on the head. He ain't shh. <laughs> I what I think is hey, gonna hey, happen. Hey, this hey, hey, this hey, is hey. <laughs> for some reason. I think it's gonna be a few things. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give all the scenarios I believe, and I'm gonna leave it at that. John and Daenerys are gonna do some type of love, murder, suicide, or Daener or Arya is gonna go to fight to kill Daenerys, and then it's gonna somehow be her and John. Versus, for some reason, Daenerys and uh, and uh, Arya and John versus Daenerys and Grey Worm. Grey Worm gonna die. I'm you shocked that what? Grey Worm made it he, this far. No, you know what? You know what? Um, when when because remember you said he was gonna die. They they gave they took the the effort out of him. Yeah. When he when he was there because he's always been cool. Like he's always oh, been yeah. cool. If Masande same lived, look, he would have died. Same look on his face. Exactly. They took the effort out of him. Sorry, you guys. You guys just heard some loud because I slapped my mic. Um, yeah. Boom. <laughs> they took the effort out of him. So since they did that, he was. I don't care about nothing. So everybody, I want everybody to die because I lost everything that I had. So it. Spear, chess, even after they, oh, we can hit, we didn't even do them. We dropped our swords. <laughs> can you imagine dropping your sword, get hit by a spear, and then having Man. all your men have to pick their sword back up? Bro, nah, I quit hey, out the ranch. Well, check this out, though. I would have dipped. Or everybody's going to be in a situation when they're about to die, and then Bran is going to warg into the dragon and eat Daenerys. Could. He could do it. He could do it. He could do it. Um, or, or oh man, I I just here's some things I feel can't happen that shouldn't happen. I don't think John should die again. He's not gonna die again. I I'm just I'm just putting some things out there. Mm -hmm. I, a part of me, if Tyrion was still trusted by Daenerys, I would say Tyrion's gonna kill her. She has but no he's not trusted. To... He she don't trust him no more. Yeah, he, of course. I don't think he's gonna be able to get close to her anymore. I don't think like, a lot of people are gonna be able to get close yeah, to her because she that, I think she that's... she knows she has to know that she made a mistake. At this point, she's a target. Exactly. Oh, yeah, she's a big target. And that's why I was we were at work talking about it. Like, who could get close enough to Daenerys to kill her? John. 
John. But even she don't trust him either. Yeah, but she loves him. Yeah. She oh, loves him. Be, yeah. So she loves him. He loves her. They got a connection. So rather she and she, but she, he told her, I'm going to tell her. Yeah. You're going to be here, my queen. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they got to know. Ga, 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 ga. <laughs> You're stupid. He is the pure guy. Every he time really in is. these shows, they're the pure guy. He's super pure. Harry Potter, pure guy. These yeah. guys are super pure. They do everything by the book. They do not fall off track. Oh, what about this one? John John kills Daenerys, takes Drogon, the dragon, melts the throne, and makes a democracy. <laughs> yeah, we wish. Yeah. <laughs> we wish. If that happens, I'm just go ahead and say America. No. <laughs> I, America. I, I think John I think John's at that point where I just want to go home. <laughs> I still think he's I think ultimately, because I really don't believe they'll kill him again. No. I really think he's gonna end up back above the north, like above the wall. Yeah. I uh, think he's yeah, gonna yeah. end up right. in the, as a wildling. I really believe that. I like, have, he, any everything works with him. We can see him being the king. Because people yeah. want him to be king. We can see him being the king of the north because that's home. Yeah. We can see him being there. You know what I'm saying? I, you can see all of that with him because he's the pure guy. He fits everywhere. He fits everything. But. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. But they've oh, already told us that they, they've already. When people in the show don't know what's going to happen, then we know to just expect the worst of the worst. I know, man. I, how, we, okay, how many people you think gonna die? Because we're we're I out think of time. It's the last episode. A gang of people gotta die. Ooh, do, you, gotta do you think they're gonna do a dumb cliffhanger that makes us like wonder, or you think they're gonna neatly tie a bow? My mind is telling me that they're gonna do a. <laughs> My mind's telling me no. <laughs> it's telling me that they're going to tie it all up, wrap it all the way around, bang. Eyes of the Dragon as the end scene and then cut. Right. Ooh. Right. That's what my mind is telling me. <laughs> but after eight years, I need a. I think I they, need. I want. They a gotta kill it. Rap. Yeah. Fifteen million dollars an episode. You gotta kill it. Everybody gotta die. The world gotta end. <laughs> like, <laughs> a comet needs to come down. Like damn, we survived dragons and all. It. You know what? Three hundred. Ooh. 300. All of a sudden, uh, uh hey, because you know, it's funny. they never said Westeros was the whole world, of course not. So, what if you what if all this ends and all of a sudden you see a fleet of ships? We coming in, them. hey, the Greyjoys are still on top, they back, they got, they got the back. most solid army right now. We good, we on our islands, <laughs> we got people, <laughs> we got our kids, ain't nobody destroyed our rooms. We, we good. We got straight. beds. <laughs> we got a queen. We we structured. Ready for y'all. We ready for y'all dragon. Mm -hmm. We we are structured. We got it all. Bro, I just it's crazy to think that Sunday is gonna wrap up eight years of TV. Bro. Welcome to HBO. Oh man. HBO. Well, we are like beyond time. Yeah. We really talked about two things. Damn. Well, we talked about a lot of things. Yeah, but the title go had two things in it. We <laughs> Yeah, it, Game of Thrones. Digital Xbox. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so that's um, enough. That's enough for me, man. Yeah, okay. Well, make sure to check out all the links below, guys. Please. Uh, please. Everything. Oh, and subscribe, man. Subscribe. Wherever you guys are listening to this, make sure to hit the like, the notification, the follow button, whatever's there, whether it's literally Apple follow music, us on whatever. Twitter, please. Or, the link is in the description below. Tone Yes. Tone Death Check. Network. Follow us. Shout we are on me. iTunes. We are on Spotify, iHeart, Radio, and we somewhere else. I know we're we somewhere else. Place. We, yeah, we all over this Tone. galaxy. See my eye. We somewhere yeah. else. It's twitching because it's there, but I don't know where it's at. But we're there. And then if you're watching and listening on YouTube, like my man said, subscribe. Please. We need it. We need it. Somebody left. I seen the number drop. I said, no, Jesus. You stupid. Ah, <laughs> come ah. back. We got to get retention rate. We got to keep back. it. Please come subscribe. Back. It come helps back. us out tremendously. Um, also, comment. Please, we need to hear what you guys think. 
Yeah. You know, we need to discuss what you guys, you guys may have something to add on to it. You guys may argue be with able us. to correct us some way, somehow. I want to argue with somebody in the comments. I don't want to argue. I, y'all win, dog. I, I need your subscription still. <laughs> love you guys. All right. Much love. We really do appreciate y'all. I'm Baron J67. I'm T. Jones. Peace. Peace.